So Adam, I've, I've given her a chance to kind of speak a little bit without you up here. So now it's, it's fair game. I mean, it's time now. Um, but I'm, I'm interested as to how you guys met. Tell me how you and Bethany first met. Yeah, as you heard, um, I grew up in Kansas and I had learned about a ministry called Young Life and one of my really good friends who happened to be from Kauai um, invited me to move out there and start the ministry with him. And I was just going to be there for a year and I was, things were going really well and so him and his wife were like kind of conspiring like we need to figure out a way to keep Adam on island and we need to find him a wife so he stays here. <laughs> so they, they conspired, met up with um, one of their friends who knew Bethany and they're like yeah tell Bethany about Adam and then we'll give Adam Bethany's number. And like being from Kansas, I didn't know anything about Bethany, so I was in the blind, which was kind of a good thing. Um, it, was, it was really cool, because I called her up not knowing who she was, and it went to voicemail. So I left this awkward voice, like, hey, you want to go hang out at the beach with some friends, blah, blah, blah. I still have the voicemail. <laughs> oh, man. I think he played that too. <laughs> he didn't know that. Oh. And my voice message box is Yeah, so we ended up going to the beach together with the friends, and um, they're having a good time, and there happened to be a 40-foot cliff that goes off into the ocean, and I was like, hey, have you ever, you know, jumped off that cliff into the ocean? And she's like, no, and it's like, oh, I never have either, let's go, let's go jump it. And all their friends chickened out, and it was just Bethany and I, and it was pretty much love at first jump. <laughs> A leap of love. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So now um, you've been married a year and a half? Yeah, August, two years. Wow. Yeah. And they said it wouldn't last. Wow. Okay, that's great. No, they, no, they didn't say that at all. They didn't say that at all. But, but now one of the things that's important that I, that I want young couples or even old couples, I want couples to hear. One of the things that's important in your marriage, you can tell this by what you do, Christ is at the center of your marriage. He's not only at the center of your lives, he's at the center of your marriage. How do you do that? I don't, I'll ask both of you to comment, but how do you put Christ at the center of your life and how important is that in your lives together? Um, that's super important. I think I can speak on behalf of Bethany. We, we both grew up in a Christian home and um, having just great parents, they created a stable environment for us and were great. Um, role models for us to look up to and see their relationship like wow that's you know something to strive for and ultimately they themselves had Christ in the center of their relationship and as we were dating Bethany and I that was one of the most attractive things I found about her she's not only beautiful on the outside but I saw her spirit and her heart that um, was created um, by the Lord and I think that she just has a wonderful heart for people and a um, wonderful heart that for Jesus. And um, that was one of the main things, like, okay, this is, she's a keeper. I, 